Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. We are continuing our uh, very quick review of matrix operations, and we are looking at general matrix arithmetic in this lesson. Again, if you need a deeper review, please refer to something like Khan Academy. So let's start with matrix addition. Two matrices can be added together as long as they are the same size and shape. So all of these must be the same size and shape. So whatever that is, if one of them is n by n, all of them have to be n by n. But the way you add is you just simply add the terms that are in the same location. So I have an example here of two matrices, they are two by three, and so the answer will be two by three, and the way we get the answer is we simply are going to look at the first position, two plus zero is two. Down below that, three plus negative one is two. Moving over to the second column, one plus three is four, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. And so our answer is the same size and shape. Now we also can do matrix subtraction. And all we would do is just subtract term by term. Multiplying a matrix by a scalar is also quite straightforward. You simply are going to multiply each and every term by that scalar. So, for instance, I have, again, a 2 by 3 matrix, and I'm going to multiply by the scalar 1 half. And if I do that, I'm going to end up with an answer that is also the same size and shape. So the answer will be 2 by 3 also. And so I'm going to have 2 and a half, 1, one and a half, four, one half, three would be my answer. So I just do it term by term. So scalar multiplication, very simple. What isn't quite so simple is matrix multiplication. So if I'm multiplying two matrices together to get a product matrix P, what I do is for the I K term I'm going to multiply it out of matrix A. I'm going to multiply it by the kjth term in matrix B. And I'm going to do that for all of the k's, the pieces that are in the middle here. Okay? And then I add them all together. Now that sounds very confusing. Again, quick review. Go back to Khan Academy or some other if you need more assistance. But we'll be looking at examples here. So the key thing is the shape really matters. If matrix A was an M by N matrix and matrix B was an N by L matrix, if these here are the same, the multiplication is possible and the answer will be M by L. So let's look at this example I've shown here and I tried to pick something that would be kind of quick. Um, but in this particular case, this matrix is a 2 by 3. This matrix is a 3 by 1. Because those are the same, the multiplication is possible. And the answer is going to be a 2 by 1. Okay? So... going to be two tall and only one across. I'm going to leave it kind of wide though because I'm going to write in my terms. And so if, to get this first term, what I'm doing is out of the first matrix, I'm taking a row and multiplying each term individually by the elements in a column in order. So one is going to be multiplied by one. Three is multiplied by 0, 5 is multiplied by negative 1, 
and then I add those together. When I do that, 1 plus 0 minus 5 is negative 4. So let's do this for this second row. So I'm going to take the second row out of my first matrix and the first column out of my second matrix. 2 times 1, again staying with the order, 4 times 0, 6 times negative 1, and then add those together. So when I do this I get 2 plus 0 minus 6 is negative 4. And so my answer is a 2 by 1 matrix. Again, matrix multiplication can only be done if the number of columns out of the first matches the number of rows out of the second. In our next lesson, we're going to look at the um, equivalent to matrix division. Thank you very much for your time.